Hello Leo, this is going to be your November video for Sun, Moon or Rising Leo. So now on the 4th, we have Mercury moving into your third house joining Venus. And this is all about the third house, it's about communication, getting a message out there, and Mercury as well. So having this beautiful energy in Mercury, right, coming to that third house joining Venus, what do you want to express? What do you want to say? What do you want to, you know, get out there? What message? This is the house of learning, getting information, communication, um, writing, getting all of that creative energy out, using your voice in some way, sharing a message, um, making even videos, all of that energy of basically expressing yourself, you know, um, that's about networking, marketing, all of that about a message and having ideas about messages and Venus about what you're truly passionate about. And Venus will be there in your third house till the 22nd. So you have this time about where you're thinking and what you're feeling, what you truly want to express. Get it out there. Even with friends, connecting to friends, expressing what your passions are, you know, working with others in a sense connecting to others to get your message out. It's all of that message, information, research, learning, getting all that information. Also, you can basically use it to your advantage, Leo. So then on the 11th, we have Mercury joining the sun in your fourth house. Now, here with Mercury in the fourth house, the fourth house is about home. And Mercury in the fourth is about making changes to the home. What are you thinking about your home? Even moving or reorganizing, putting things into place within the home. And also communication with family. The sun there brings in this new energy to your home. So wanting to put in new things, you know, new items. Thinking about all of that new energy when it comes to the home. So it's a really beautiful time, especially for family, connecting to family, communication with family, having those heartfelt discussions. Um, the sun bringing in new, basically, way of communicating and connecting to family on a deeper level. So this is a very beautiful time for you as well. Especially after October with all the retrogrades of miscommunication and having all of those kinds of, you know, things happen. Now it's more like in a balanced state of where you're wanting to basically get what you have on your heart, what you're carrying within you to get it really out of you and express it to those closest to you. The fourth house is about family, but also people that are in your soul family, people that you, you know, have a heartfelt connection with and you really care about. So really communicating and bringing in this new energy. The, the sun basically puts light on anything. And this is really putting light on that fourth house of the heart, the people that basically you connect to and also your family and your home and then the 14th mars is finally direct in your ninth house now mars has been in retrograde since september and basically this has created a lot of like stuck energy not moving forward not being able to get things going the ninth house is about travel movement wanting to seek an adventure also, publication, getting that information out there. The ninth house is higher learning, you know, completing something, studying for something, getting all of that energy of your, you know, your talents, your what you want to learn about. Spiritual aspects, connecting to the spiritual side of you a bit deeper. When it was in retrograde, you could have felt stuck, like disconnected with your spiritual self and what's happening around you and feeling like, ah. Oh, what is the point of all of this? Now it's like you have this energy to actually see what all this energy with the retrograde was trying to bring, which was from the 9th of September, which was like literally two months. Now there's that forward movement with what you want to create, the information you want to put out of there. Then on the 15th, new moon, and this new moon will be in Scorpio in your fourth house, joining Venus now on the 22nd, also in the fourth house. So when it comes again to that home life, the new moon is again giving you new ideas you know letting go healing transforming the, the fourth house of your home family matters and those that are close to you and with venus there you're allowed to feel and explore your emotions when it comes to those really close to you as well good time to rebuild relationships establish relationships connect to others romance even this is like that really where you connect to someone on a very deep and soulful level 
So then on the 22nd, the sun now also moves into that fifth house. And this is more romance, new romance, um, and basically even connecting to a lover deeper as well. So it's a lot of passion, creativity, business. So all that information and everything you've been researching and learning, now you can finally put it forward. The fifth house is about creativity, adventure, exploring, and really tapping into what we're passionate about and really tapping into our creativity, bringing it out into the world, having fun with it, entertainment, having looking for fun and entertainment with friends, people that are close to you, romance, really enjoying life. Then on the 30th, we have a lunar eclipse happening now in your 11th house. So you might want to connect to a different friend group, socialize in a different environment with different people also with organizations tapping into organizations even looking at organizations from a different point of view wanting to let go of old friendships people probably that you connected to now you just feel disconnected and you want to allow for new connections to come in and really also you know sharing a message the 11th house is also very expanding energy. All this energy is really taking you out into the world. And a lot of energy about messages, information, you know, having fun and bringing in your creativity, communication, really getting in touch with your feelings. The November is a lot better for that. I would say in October, there was a lot of disconnect when it came to your feelings. And Leo, you are the heart. So that could be very, very heavy for you. Now you're allowed to kind of break free. 11th house is also about freedom, feeling freer, looking at things that have basically been holding you back, especially emotionally, and venturing out and allowing for more freedom and love and happiness and communication to come into your life, especially with people that you feel supported with. Thank you so much for watching your November video.